Hi, this is Ali Sharma, and in this video, I'm just going to show some updates, what is new, what is coming next on my channel, in the shape of reviews. And yes, there is a good news that my complete Ali Sharma FPV guide is ready and the PDF version is uploaded at my site and I'm working on the PowerPoint version with colorful diagrams and lots and lots of pictures for easy reference and for easy understanding and it's it should be ready tonight and I will upload it to my website these guides are free of cost no charge for all of you to enjoy and learn a lot and these guides are meant for you to be very very simple so that anybody can use these guides and put an FPV system together in no time at all even if you don't have soldering skills you can still solder a little bit maybe you know use solders to make bad joints I mean thicker ones and fat ones but still after using this guide you are going to be able to put together an FPV system so let me give you a look at on what, uh, what the work in progress and stuff and uh, about the FPV guide and what is lying around in my room for coming up reviews. Here we go. Today is a bright sunny day so my room is bright as well. We are at onlyflyingmachines.com and you can see a new link has been added here as complete FPV guide and um, you can easily click it and go to the uh, uh, guide page and you can download the PDF version in the end I mean at the end of the page and the link to uh, I mean the link to this specific page will be posted in the description of this video and and see if my camera can focus it it's right here on the flyingmachines.com slash FPV guide HTML well this is one thing and of course where is my PowerPoint the work in progress as you can see complete Ali Shanma guide to RC FPV flying is in progress and there are lots of pictures lots of stuff and uh, everything mentioned very very clearly which thing goes where and how things work all we will take you from the basic concepts on where to buy stuff what to buy stuff you can see the antennas and thing and after that once you get the stuff we will guide you about for example I come here in the end uh, come on come on uh, the uh, the wires the colorful wires that confuse you so we give you an idea on how do you what wire does what and how do you use these wires to connect or which wire connects where so uh, I'm still working on it and uh, according to this my word document I will start working on making connections on how to make connections like camera to OS day uh, OSD to video transmitter and powering the FPV system installing the FPV system etc etc so this is the last work left on my FPV guide okay and uh, it should be ready by tonight and I will upload it to my website for you to download and enjoy uh, learning how to actually put an FPV system together well this is uh, about the FPV guide now let's get to the updates and we are here you can see I have a 1.2G uh, video transmitter and I have a 5.8G video transmitter with KX181 Sony camera uh, Telefly OSD GPS uh, current sensor and of course antenna tracker sitting there so I'm gonna put all these things together okay and uh, possibly uh, make the camera in a way that I just make it plug and play to connect here or 1.2G or any uh, uh, TXRX uh, for video and uh, I'm gonna use the 5.8G to do some FPV under 800 meters on Lotus RC quad this is T580P did not flip something has improved and Lotus RC T580P Plus is coming my way very very soon um, so stay tuned uh, for these videos because that FPV guide is gonna go in video version as well but not as much in details as that guide is however in video you can see how I'm connecting different cables to where and uh, how I'm putting the system together and if we are coming this way there are some new boxes you can see but before we go there I plan to fly my T-Rex 600 today I really really miss it and I changed the KDS 550 to E-Bar to see how E-Bar is behaving on this bird again and this time I set up set it up right uh, possibly uh, possibly I'm not sure but possibly a Scorpion motor is coming for my KDS 700E that will be fun 
and uh, of course uh, we will uh, new motor for KDS 450 FBL is also arriving very very soon uh, coming here Thank you very much, Lotus RC. They sent me fully max 4000 mAh battery pack. That's 425425C. Nice and um, uh, continuous 25C, burst 50C. Nice, nice, nice battery packs. So I'm gonna go and solder the cable uh, connectors on these. Then Lotus RC also sent me a PTZ B, which is a sweet PTZ you can see inside. So I'm gonna put it on as well on my T580P. Then here in this box, uh, I will come here to show you that what's new. Yeah, baby. Thank you very much, BEVRC. I have got my Nova OSD with RTH function, that is autopilot, return to home function. So I'm going to put it on my Skywalker or some other planes that are coming and see how it is working. Basically, I possibly will try it on Skywalker um, uh, V5 or X8. So it will take some time to review, but I will show you what it is. Then the EVRC sent me more antennas and I was really, really happy to see that I've got my channeling there back with, come on, don't be shy. Come on, come on, up, come on. Three diversity antenna receivers. This means I can connect my chain link there to three different planes. I'm planning to put this one on Lotus RC T580P quad and fly it as far as it goes. That will be fun. That will be really, really fun. So yeah, thank you very much BEVRC. Yeah, uh, what happened that my chain link stopped working suddenly? It was because I put the chain link transmitter too close to chain link receiver uh, near my plane and the chain link diversity receiver went into some kind of protection mode and it did not bind. So I was told not to operate chain link there too close to chain link there receivers. You should keep it at least one meter away from each other when they are powered on. And last but not least, we are here with Volkera V120 DO2S with Devo 7 radio. Hmm. All right, that's the newest one. Thank you very much, Volkira. I'm gonna do a review of this one with Devo 7 and, and show my settings on this helicopter very, very soon. And also possibly, yes, 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 Volkira, thank you very much. Possibly uh, the new Airwolf with five blade head, main rotor head is gonna come my way as well. And the MX400 quad from Walkera. Alright, so this is it. Stay tuned and I'm gonna get busy right away.